Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So one of the most frequented comments I get on the channel is, when will it be safe for me to install Windows 11 24H2? And this is something we have spoken about on the channel previously. And although Microsoft is fixing a good couple of the known issues very slowly but surely, there are at least seven known issues according to Microsoft Docs over on their known issues health dashboard page that are still in place that are blocking devices with the said known issues, which we'll look at today and um, from upgrading to 24H2. So if you are experiencing any of these issues we're going to talk about today, then there's a very good chance you will not be offered the 24H2 annual update through your Windows update on your Windows 11 PC. And although you can force the update, which I did for the purpose of this channel, and Microsoft does not recommend forcing an update, um, as an example, using the update assistant or the media creation tool and so on, because you can get a frequented blue screens of death and instability problems and so on. And that's what I experience on a day-to-day -day basis because I forced the update and obviously I suffer for that um, from day to day. Now, as mentioned, there are seven known issues that are still in place. So these are the known issues where Microsoft is still applying a safeguard hold. Now, first of all, and I'm just going to go through this quickly. The first is Asphalt 8 might periodically stop responding. And devices running Asphalt 8 might see an exception and compatibility hold has been applied. Then the next one is compatibility issues with Intel Smart Sound Technology drivers. Now, this is one I'm experiencing on a day-to-day -day basis because as mentioned uh, previously on the channel, I have Intel SST smart sound technology drivers installed on this device and I suffer for that on a daily basis where I get frequented blue screens of death when trying to start my um, OBS, my screen recording um, software. So as mentioned, those devices might receive an error with a blue screen. So just take that, take note of that. And then the next one is wallpaper customization apps might not work as expected, where compatibility hold is in place, as mentioned. Some devices using easy anti-cheat stopped responding and receive a blue screen. And Microsoft says older driver versions of the easy anti-cheat app are incompatible with version 24H2. And then the next one is safe exam browser app might fail to open. Where devices running version 3.7 or lower versions of this app are incompatible. And then the next one is camera use might cause some apps to become unresponsive. Where only a limited set of devices which use object recognition are confirmed to be impacted by this issue. And then the last official known issue that is still listed by Microsoft is some devices that have direct audio and might lose audio output where obviously affected devices will not be offered the update to version 24H2 until this issue is resolved. And I've kind of posted videos on each of these separately. So just do a search on the channel if you'd like some more information. So those are the seven official known issues according to Microsoft that will still block the Windows 11 24H2 update. So I'm just putting it out there. And at this point, it is unclear when the upgrade will be unblocked for everyone. And as I've mentioned previously on the channel, I will post a video when I personally feel that it is safe to upgrade and update to 24H2. Um, because I have mentioned that quite frequently in the comments. So just posting this video to kind of get us all on the same playing field in regards to what could still be blocking the 24H2 update. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.